Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. So in this occasion we have this nice Glock 17 built from zero. It has parts from different manufacturers but mostly the gun is guns modified. I think they are not in the market right now but they used to make the best aftermarket parts. This is a blue grip polymer, it's a reinforced one, and we have a size light, it's aluminum. This is the Surefire X835, which works great, it has 300 lumens and the possibility of switch on to 1000 lumens. So this is the Tokimaru original magazine, I painted with nails paint in white. It has the, the MAC uh, plate, the blue MAC plate. I don't remember the manufacturer and the 9 ball on the top which makes it more gas efficiency when you release the, the hammer so it works great this is my uh, nowadays is the, the, my secondary arm that I carry to the field and it has not let me down yet this is the magazine mm, the manufacturer is ProWin and it comes with the kit to converse, to, to make the conversion from MWS na, uh, to, to nine millimeters. They are compatible with Glocks, and I'm not sure if I will do it on my MWS because you have to modify your your upper area, and mm, once you have done it, you cannot go back to the normal magazines. So still thinking about. It's a good weapon, it has a nice trigger, it's, it's from Guns Modified too, you can adjust the sensibility, so you can make it stronger or softer, as well it has a strong recoil, I, I usually put green gas on it, um, it works great on winter and summer, no problems at all, maybe in summer sometimes you have to use a lighter gas because green gas is too strong so the hammer won't release properly the magazine valve so as I was telling you guys this kit from ProWin it looks good it was 200 euros more or less and this part is supposed to be installed inside the the low receiver of your M4 by Togimari it's compatible with any kind of of magazines however you have to modify the upper receiver you have to use your Dremel and you have to modify your your ball carrier so that's the part I don't really like because if I want to go back to big magazines if I, I won't be able to so I want you to have a look about how it feels to have this gun in your hand. It feels solid. It's like if it were one piece. You can see that my nine ball hop up rubber. Those fiber optics by guns modify as well. They rock. On that outer barrel, I can put my. Yes, that sound, man. So you see how it works and the magazine, you know, there are normal magazines. So now with the big one from ProWin. This is totally a pleasure to, to go with this gun. You will see my videos on YouTube uh, I, when I record them and then you, you see how the BB goes straight. I really like this Surefire, it's not the first I own. I had a, a basic one and, and it was good, so I decided to go to a more upgraded one. This one has the, the strobe option to flash your, your enemies and you can select between 300 lumens and 1000 lumens. So it's, I don't play with 1000 because it's crazy. You will make blind your enemies and you. this is a game, you know, it's not real life. 
yeah, the strobe option is, is nice. And you see the difference? I, I don't think you would see it. But it's very big difference between one option and the, the other option. It's very big difference when the room is dark. So I was looking for uh, the final solution to carry my weapon with a flashlight and a tr tracer unit because I like to play with tracer. I, I like to see my BBs where they go. And this is what I found. It's not a cheap option, but it's the final solution for me. No movement, fits perfect. It fits the light. And this option doesn't work at all, but I don't mind. I'm not a, a police officer. I have played with this for more than 20 times and not even once my gun went out of the the place, neither the, the magazine. So it works great. I can carry my my tracers, no matter which one, if it's the shorter or the longer, no problem at all. This is like a double safety, but I don't really like because sometimes you are with the gloves and you cannot go and, and, and release it easy. So the normal one is okay. So I'm gonna open now the gun and, and show you guys with what's inside just a little bit. I'm not going too deep. Basically we have here guns modify on the front and guns modify on the rear. This is a steel. This is not aluminum. It works great. I put steel on the top on the bottom and aluminum on the upper. Why? By doing that, my steel parts won't, you know, they, they won't break. They, they are not gonna be, mm, I don't know. They won't, they, won't, they last much more than the, than the aluminum because of the friction, you know, steel is much stronger than that. For sure you know that. So the outer barrel is, is great. And this is the blowback housing from Guns Modifies Aluminum, it's great. This is the version two of Guns Modifies Nozzle. This was released, I think, on 2019, at the end of last year. And um, as you see this, yeah, that, that inner barrel is a Guns Modify inner barrel. I really like TNT. However, this came with the, with the slide and it worked very good. So no complaints at all. And I'm gonna change right now. It has a 120 spring recoil, and I think in the nozzle it has a nozzle spring is, is about 120 or 150. Yeah, that sound, man. This gun is solid, it's a rock. So these are the two tracers I own. The small one I usually put on the on my pistols and the big one for the MWS. However, I have put both on the pistols and no problem at all. You know that sometimes the tracer units are heavy and your slide doesn't go back properly, but not in not in this type of builds. You know, you, you spend so much time making everything work great and, and there is no, no trouble. I know this pistol looks a little bit different because it's blue, but blue reminds me to the training system as, and as Airsoft is like a game. I, I like it, this combination between blue, uh, silver and, and black. And this is the A-Stage. This one is a tracer and a chrono. 
you download the application on the phone and and you can switch the mode between tracer or chronograph it's very useful it comes from with different uh, to attach different mm, different sizes like mi minus 14 ma uh, plus 14 or 11 as well it has two colors so you can you can shoot red and green bbs As you see, no problem when shooting this big tracer. So basically this is everything. I hope guys you enjoyed this video. It was just to show uh, what I'm shooting right now. This is something I, I, I used to have on this gun, but I cannot put my tracers and I usually play uh, once every two weeks. I, I don't like to install and install every time I don't have that time, but it looks very, very cool when I'm, when I'm running this pistol with, with this thing. However, I got so accommodated to play with tracers that I don't go back because I see where my I watch where my babies go when they packed it's so easy to, to see that so thank you for thank you for watching guys cheers